Hello. Oh, sorry, had an itch. Well, since today is Saturday, I figured I'd do a quick video. Uh, hopefully, uh, you all have some kind of interest in this. Maybe, maybe not. But one of my hobbies is I build Swiss Army knives and I do some customs. Uh, I've sold a few that I've built. Uh, I've built to order and not a big deal. But anyway, what I'm going to show is ones that I've done for myself because, well, I just kind of, you know, I've, I've wanted, you know, certain things on a knife. Um, granted, I, I think the my EDC Swiss Army knife, the Champion, I think has everything on it that I need, that I like. But I, uh, there's a few others that, you know, are discontinued models and uh, I built one. I built one the other day. This would be as close as you could get to a master craftsman. It's just newer parts. Uh, like the old master craftsman had the old file. This one's got the new metal file on it with a saw. I like it. I like this tool a lot. I do have a few of the older ones that, I, and but I don't really care for the older style. Uh, the newer style, I, I think, works a lot better. But this, I built this one is a my secondary Swiss knife. I always, you say whatever you want. I always carry two Swiss Army knives. Um, my champion's always on my belt. And I always have a second one in my pocket, usually a camper or a hiker, um, something that's got the saw, a wood saw, which this one also has a wood saw. Basically, the Master Craftsman is, the, everything else is the same as a Ranger, except the Ranger's got a corkscrew, and the Master Craftsman has the Phillips head on the back. But yeah, I built this one the other day for myself and when I was putting the scales on, I, they're used scales, so you know, it's stuff for me, it doesn't matter. But the back scale, I don't know, the camera might pick it up, but there's a, a cracked, you know, right there, you can see it. I got a crack in that back scale. It's not a big deal, I mean, it's not, it does not affect the usage of the knife. So, that's the one that I did, the, I, one of them I did the other day. Now, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, this one I did. Now, this one I also put a Phillips on the back. Because I, I already carry a corkscrew. So, this one has everything that a field master would have. I mean, a field master has the blades, um, the wood saw, the scissors, the can bottle opener, you got the other tools that they have on the back, the reamer, the parcel hook, and the Phillips. With, but I have the uh, an extra tool on the back, which is a scraper. But this one also on the front, I put a fish scaler. I haven't decided on a name for this one. I don't think this one's been made by Victorinox yet with this tool set, but that's just another one that I built. I used an old set of my flush scales. I got to get a pen from upstairs because my pen slot's empty. And the other slot here would be for actually the toothpick, but I've got a regular toothpick because I do not have um, more of the the uh, firefly ferro rods that go in there. So that's that one. Now, this one I did, uh, I don't know, a week or so, about a week ago. Um, basically, it's a camp, basically it's a camper. But I put an extra back tool on. I put the scraping tool on the back of the wood saw. But it's that everything else is the same as a camper. 
Oh, and I got, I put plus scales on it. That's all I really had left is some, that were decent was uh, plus scales. And then this one, blade, combo tool, what's uh, Phillips mag glass. There we go. Sorry folks, I had to pause for a second. Now the back, back tools is the corkscrew and the reamer. A little sewing all reamer tool. If I can get it out. Ah, there we go. It's got an edge on it there, but good for making holes in wood or whatnot, you know. Use that shavings to, for tinder for fires. But there's that one. Now the other one that I have I'm gonna show of these is this one. Um, it's a hiker. I made all I did for this one is I made the micarta scales. I have some micarta, I've got some G10, um, I've got an acrylic yet down there. I'm gonna, I'll probably do uh, another set of each and uh, so I can actually have the toothpick and tweezer. I mean, that's the only, really the only reason I don't carry this one every day because of no toothpick tweezer. I don't know, I, I just like having that combo. But, all right, now, as for the rest of my EDC, and I got my vest on so I got more pockets. <laughs> but anyway, got my neck knife. Same as before. Got my little light. I got oh, my little EDC tin. It's a, basically a pocket survival kit type of thing. Got my little pocket and little AAA flashlight. my own knife I just uh, touched the edge up the other day again so it's nice and sharp yeah I'm putting everything back as I go uh, I got my bigger fixed blade I like that knife on the sheath I have a a uh, ferro rod with one of them expanding, like, bellow type of thing. Uh, and my champion. Plus scales, I got the, uh, I get it, there we go, the little ferro rod. The pen, toothpick, tweezers. Can't remember, I think I got a fish hook underneath the scales, too. Got some line and some cordage, and... A little pry bar. I also have a ferro, larger ferro rod on my Swiss Army knife. Uh, here's my Leatherman. It's the uh, side kit. Not wearing a watch because the battery died in my last one and I haven't, I've been too cheap to buy a new one. I got my wallet with my pen. My pen is the, uh, coming loose pen, <laughs> but it's the uh, Olight O Pen Mini. I like that pen, it's very nice, writes nice. Uh, that back. Oh. Right back pocket. I have my bandana and my Buck Spitfire. A little lock back. It's got, still got a pretty good edge on it. Yeah, I, I carry a lot of stuff because I can. I mean, 
Oh. <coughs> my uh, Beck lighter and the smoker. So I usually, like I like today I've got, I had three. The other one's here somewhere. Oh. And another one right there. I always have two or three Beck lighters on me. Always. Um, when I leave the house, I, uh, wherever my bag went, it's here somewhere. Oh, it's behind me. One second. If I'm going on any, any longer distance, uh, uh, like Monday I have to go to the doctor, I will be taking my bag with me. Got my stainless steel single wall bottle strapped to it. Um, basically, if something happened and I got stranded somewhere, I could uh, sneak and go out in the woods somewhere and I could uh, set up a camp or something because I have emergency blankets, I have uh, rain ponchos in here. Um, I got another one of them like survival tin type of thing. I'm trying to fix this one strap before it comes out. There we go. I think that'll hold. Um, might be fun, might, people might think it's funny, but inside the, the main part, I do have a, br a regular metal bread tin. Um, could cook in it, could boil water, uh, you know, all could use it for digging, you know, if they had to, dig a hole with it. Got a little light right there. Uh, I believe there's another Swiss Army knife in here. Um, that will be going with me on Monday. And if I'm a, if it's bad weather, I'm gonna take something extra like this one just a regular fanny pack but I just wear it like as a sling here um, it's got I do have in that one my brown bag I do have a uh, water filter um, in here I got in the top I got a little Swiss Army knife flashlight or a rod and not a uh, lock blade folding knife uh, I do have it there's another survival type tin in this one as well. And I got emergency blanket, uh, rain poncho, and that tin. It's just an Altoids tin, I just painted it. But with bad weather and, you know, I'm, I know I'm gonna be going a, a, quite a distance and I'm gonna be gone a, quite a while. I will take this and my other my other sling bag or shoulder bag. I don't know what you would want to call it, but I got it off that new site TMU for I think ten bucks or something like that, nine or ten bucks. Um, yeah, that's uh, a week or two ago. Uh, we had what's called the Piers. Uh, Route 16 yard sales. It's where the whole state route 16 all the way up through um, People had their yard sales and garage sales and uh, Some places there's like vendors where ha they have a whole bunch of oddball type stuff well, one of the things that I got is Over there and I'm not gonna get up and get it. It's just one of them uh, uh, small folding shovels. It has a little pick on one side. It's a nice little nice little tool. It's got a compass on it uh, I think the compass works too really well um, I also got myself a pair of gloves now these are the type I like to wear because they got the grip on the inside uh, Less chance you're gonna drop something it doesn't matter if you're wet or dry But these are gonna go in my my bag actually I want to. I might get another pair of them at some point, just to have an extra pair here at the house. But yet, yeah, well, anyway, that's. I think that's all the video I want to show today. Uh, if you uh, 
liked what you saw, uh, you know, like, su subscribe, you know. Uh, hopefully you guys are watching the videos all the way to the end. You know, I'm not complaining too much today. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and I got my, my new hat at one of the vendors. Uh, I got a few other things. I got, uh, my girlfriend actually got this for me. It's just a tin. It's a prayer box. It had a little notebook, came with a little notebook and stuff in it. But I figure it opens and it, it shuts real good. It's got a, like a pin through it for the uh, hinge, the actual hinge on it. Um, I figured I can clean it up, throw a coat of paint on it, and use it. So, but that's it for today. Sorry, my phone wobbly. Y'all have a great day. Happy Saturday.